I've had some people have a little issues getting these uh, CNH plates on the Shadow 2s. So we're just going to do a quick video to show you how this goes together. In the package of the plate, you're going to pull this out. And you ha obviously have the plate. And you have some extra little bags. Uh, one is uh, the T-nuts here that go uh, on the plate itself. And then you have mounting screws that will mount the plate to the slide. And you have screws for Holosun or Trigicon. Uh, those will work with the RMR or the uh, SRO. And so we're going to start with the T-nuts here. Take both of these out. And uh, you can see they're, they're pretty small to work with. Uh, they go in on the bottom side of this plate. I like to, uh, especially when I'm doing it here in the shop, I usually just put a little bit of grease right there on the bottom of that. And that way you can drop the T-nut down in that little slot, just like that. And that little bit of grease in there will keep uh, will keep it from falling out when you flip it over. And so then once you have this up, these actually stick up a little bit. And then uh, it just drops down in the gun right here. And then I've got a hollow sun uh, that we're going to put on here. But uh, first thing I'm going to do is the mounting screws. Uh, these are going to be the ones that are stainless steel. Uh, I would recommend putting a little bit of Loctite on them. Uh, I use the pink uh, Loctite, which is really light strength. If you use blue on these, you're, if you ever have to take this off, it's probably going to snap them because these are just such a small thread. But I'd use a little bit of pink Loctite, just a tiny bit on the thread, and make sure a little bit gets under the cap because you'll be able to get this back off if you need to. Uh, but uh, as long as you torque it down, it, it shouldn't come down. It shouldn't come off uh, on its own. And so. We don't actually normally use torque wrenches on these, but uh, we just kind of get hand tight. If I had to guess, I'd say we're probably going about 15 inch pounds. Uh, we're gonna tighten that down. And then your optical sit uh, really nice and, and flush on that. And so uh, since we're using the hollow sun, it's gonna be the same thing. It's a relatively small screw, so. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't jump straight to using blue Loctite. I would use something a little bit lighter strength. Helps if you have the right bit here. And so uh, you will notice too and see once you once you screw this down uh, and I'm not going to use this the other screw just for demonstration purposes, but that's how you would mount it right there. Wouldn't hurt to clean these screws up with a little bit of acetone or fingernail polish remover, just to make sure that they, you get all the grease off of them and uh, before you uh, put the Loctite on there.